Hi fellow space engineers. I just wanted to post uh, something in response to a question that I saw in the forums. And uh, there's, there's been quite a few times where I've looked around at the various uh, ideas people have had for, incredible ideas people have had for solar tracking, uh, for the solar panels, uh, for heliostats basically. And uh, the scripts are awesome. Uh, the uh, one of the posts I just saw was incredibly ingenious, using a um, a, a small subgrid on a large grid set of panels, uh, with the solar panel turned 90 degrees and using a gyro to adjust it. Uh, brilliant design. Um, I love that one. But I think mine might actually be simpler. I simply set mine up with nothing more than a set of hinges, one to adjust in one axis, the other to adjust in the other axis to make this rotor perpendicular to the um, to the axis, well actually, actually uh, coincident with the axis of the uh, orbit of the sun. It's so hard to say orbit. doesn't make any sense, but uh, I understand why the game developers did it. Um, I used the um, uh, these stacks right here just to align them the first time and to keep track of it because the math seems to be just a little bit off. Um, but this has worked. I've left this for uh, quite a few days so far. And since this, the uh, sun ends up sweeping past here and going around through there, uh, there's actually a very short period of time without sun. It's got sun throughout the vast majority of, uh, of the time. Um, so this actually works extremely well. Um, I, I was really happy with the results. Uh, it took a bit of fiddling to figure out what the angles were. And uh, let me um, let me go to something. I'm trying not to show all the stuff that I'm planning on showing later. But um, let's. So I've got in this particular uh, setup. Um, I just didn't give them proper names, but you know, vertical. Uh, they're slightly off from each other, but uh, fairly close. Um, now these are mounted 90 degrees off from each other, so they're actually fairly close angle-wise. Now the uh, let's see, here's the rotors. This is the important part. So um, the velocity. I looked it up, and the um, the default day length, and I don't believe I changed it, is uh, two hours. So I just divided, and the uh, RPMs came out to z uh, 0.008333 continuous. Um, unfortunately, the rotors, that's why I was saying the math didn't make sense, because the rotors actually ended up going a little too fast at that rate, and it seems like 0 .008 actually works out perfectly, uh, or at least very close. I've only made, I've only adjusted it one time in quite a few cycles, and uh, they still are lining up, as you can see, quite well. As long as this shadow isn't on top of one of the panels, it's close enough to perpendicular to be, you know, putting out uh, quite decent power. And uh, ah. let me see here. And yes, I know I can hide these, um, but this is the type of power I'm usually getting on them. And. Batteries, those are the little ones. There we go. Um, so looks like I might need to add a few more panels. I've been at making a lot of stuff. I've got uh, a lot of stuff draining. So as you can see, it's pretty much break even right now. But I want to add a little bit more just for some 
head room. Oh, what did I run into? Oh, an antenna. <laughs> but anyways, that's that's the uh, build, and you can see it's just starting to go into shadow right now. So these panels are going to start uh, putting out a little bit less. But uh, yeah, through the uh, majority of the uh, day cycle, these things are aimed directly at the sun, and that shadow barely moves at all. It's always uh, it's always leading just slightly, which means the uh, the heliostats are just a bit ahead of the orbit of the uh, of the sun, and you can tell it's not perfectly aligned. I mean, I've got it a little bit off there, but it's close enough that it. Uh, I don't think it's making more than you know a fraction of a percent of difference. This one right here is pretty much perfectly aligned. I just need to just need to speed it up just a hair for a couple seconds. And yeah, you can see the you can see the lights going out as the the uh, shadow starts to go across. But that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It's uh, uh, of all the the brilliant stuff that I've seen people do. I was actually surprised that I hadn't seen a purely mechanical math-based solution. So that's it. Thanks.